Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. On the last episode we went through the Royal Chapel, we faced the Hippogriff, and we got the Leapstone. Um, so let's keep going. Um, we could keep going through the entryway, or we could uh, go through the long library. I'm going to go this way though, uh, or bypass the long library. Because there's a few things we could go through here and get, but for right now I'm going to go this way. We're not going to go back here for a little while yet, anyway. All right, let's go this way. We got the holy water again. We're full of hearts, so I don't need to do that. This guy is easy to deal with. How much experience these guys give? Eight, twelve. Yeah, only one experience. So there's not. Well, actually, these guys do drop money sometimes as a red drop, but but it's not worth it in my opinion. Watch out for those boomerangs. It's called Skeller Rings, actually. And these have a rare drop, I believe, the Fire Rumor Ring. And if I pay attention here... That's a common drop of the money, and I believe the rare drop is the Fire Rumor Ring. And what's uh, kind of neat is we got really strong now. Well, not really strong, but strong enough. Probably should have teleported out, but whatever. Let's keep moving. I really don't feel like dealing with those. There's just one experience. need a heart. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna get some more life. We could get a few uh, more life maxes and heart maxes or whatever they're called, but I'm not gonna deal with that just yet. Uh, not until I actually need to. We're gonna challenge ourselves a little bit since we've already got the jewel knuckles. And I just skipped over some money and I realized I did that. Okay, now we're in the clock, uh, well the clock, it's not necessarily the clock tower, we're just at the clock. So we've got to wait for uh, this little thing up here to move. And that takes probably about 30 seconds. Let Alucard dance. Um, yeah, we'll be alright. I might could grind just a little bit. I wouldn't mind being at a little higher level, but I think we'll be okay. There it is. It's, uh, I believe, every minute or every 30 seconds or something like that. But it's time to your system time. Now I get the life max up. And let's keep going. And now we're in Ulrox's quarters. I'm gonna be quiet for a little while for the music because it's really neat. <laughs>
That was pretty good uh, enough listening to the music that time. Let's keep going. Uh, there's a really tough enemy up here. I'm wondering if we can get him. 784 experience. He does offer a lot of it. If I can just get over here. If I can get him this way. If I can't, that's okay. I'm trying to get this guy. We've got enough time, probably. He's very difficult to get, isn't he? You probably need to get an aerial weapon on him. Let's go this way, though. Alright, that guy gives us a lot of experience. This guy is a uh, pain in the butt. We're gonna move on this way. We don't have to go this way. But I kind of want to show this off. We can't really go up there just yet, but if you go this way... I'm more low on health. I should not have taken on that uh, spirally sorty man, the poltergeist, I think it's called. Over here we have a teleport. Um, where do we go here? So actually we could go this way and heal up really quick. But I wanted to open up that teleport to Ulrox's quarters because it'll come in handy. We won't have to go so far in the future. Let's go heal up and we'll go back to Ulrox's quarters. I do not want to save just yet. Let me check something out. Yeah. I just uh, skipped some money there, but I'm not worried about money just yet. A little $25 bag, a $50 bag, in this part of the game is not that much of a concern to me. Okay, where are we now? We're not uh, back there yet. I could get some more life around here, but it'll make it a little bit more of a challenge. And that's the the keep, castle keep. And we are, where are we? We're at Ulrox's quarters again. I'm trying to think of a good way to get rid of this uh, blade. That's the name of this enemy. Probably be a better idea just to um, holy water him. We have plenty of holy water left. <laughs> He gives a lot of experience, doesn't he? And a hundred dollars. I'm gonna uh, get him one more time. We've got plenty of time. This could be a long video, but I don't care. That was pretty cool. It did give me a level up. That was a lot of experience. <laughs> Wow. Let's see what we got over this guy. This guy just has a big fat hammer. Let's get our hearts back here. I don't think I'm going to go against the poltergeist, though. Let's get some monies. Screw this guy. I'm not dealing with him. Yeah, you can defeat him. Um, I don't want the stopwatch. The holy water is going to be more useful in the next part of the well, game. And here we go. Next part is the Coliseum. So I'm going to be, uh, be a little quiet for this music. So.
Alright, that's enough of listening to the music for now. Let's go this way. Hope you enjoy a little bit of exploring in this uh, episode. This is actually my second take of doing the episode. I rewatched it and I didn't really like the way the last episode was. So, If we go this way, by the way, we go back into... Where else but the Royal Chapel, so I also wanted to show that. Um, I don't really want to save her anything right now, and there's some stuff I'm going to show off there later, so I'm not really too worried. Oh, and by the way, I didn't show this off. The broadsword, uh, we got this weapon while we're listening to music. It just gives us a little better range, but it's still pretty slow. Another thing I'm going to show off is um, cheese. I can use this because they're going to get plenty of items like this. Um, whoops. The cheese just increases your health by a little bit. That's all. Uh, it's really not worth it. If you really needed it, you really needed it. I don't really need it. I could have healed somewhere else, so. I do not want that. I want the holy water. Holy water could probably be useful in the next area. Probably. You know, I've got 234 experience. Let's skirt around a little bit before the next area. Probably should want to get some health before I continue. I could use a potion. You know, let's make this a little bit more of a challenge. Um, actually, you know what, let's use some stuff. I don't really, I could just heal up, but, um, I haven't really shown it off, so I might as well show it off. This is a potion. It increases your health by 50. That's all it does. <laughs> Once our health gets a little higher, we're not going to need it. And if we go this way... We get a library card that sends us back to the library. That may be useful later, so let's keep going. <laughs> Who are you? Open Hell's Gate! Come forth, my servants! The scent of your blood. You're a Belmont. Crush this flea who invades my castle! <laughs> All right, Minotaur and Werewolf are pretty easy. Just sit here and go to town on them. That's all you gotta do. This is, uh, he does have a couple of special moves, but we just critically hit him. I'm certain that was a Belmont. So he says he's the lord of this castle. All right. So, we just met up with Richter, Richter Belmont, and uh, he pretty much told us that, um, oh, by the way, this uh, switch operates a little thing here, and if you jump over here, and you get back over here, you can operate this little elevator. But basically, Richter Belmont is supposedly the lord of this castle, which is kind of odd. Uh, by the way, the mist, um, that's your wolf form, with the other form here. Yeah, it uses a lot of magic, but, you know, what are you gonna do? Uh, let's see where I want to go next. Got a few more minutes to show this place off, I think. Um, did I go this way? Yes, I did. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the end. And 382 to the next experience. You're going to build a lot of experience in this part of the castle. so Or at this level, anyway. We don't want to go back that way just yet. Level 18. I'm checking my stats a little more than I probably should. But I keep forgetting. It's like when you somebody asks you what time it is, and 
you look at your watch and say, I forgot, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, save here. Um, well, not yet, but I will in a second. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, and um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And on the next episode, we'll go to the Coliseum a bit, and we'll see what else this castle has in store for us. So thank you so much for watching, and have a good day. Bye-bye.